Hey, how's it going? So I hope you're doing good. Sometimes pools are just too difficult. If you were watching my screen the other night with Michael Phelps swimming in the Olympics, you got that indoor pool, the racing facility. When you get out here in the mountains, pools are really not the main forte of um, maintenance and stuff. They're redoing the clubhouse. I don't know exactly know what they're doing there. Women are playing um, tennis. They're playing doubles. So I had to go up there. There's a porta potty out front. I don't change my my suit on the deck, so I had to go change in the porta potty because I called my mom. She said I can't come up and pick you up right now. And I said, Well, the the, the clubhouse is closed. I can't go change. So I went into the porta potty, changed into my my uh, my my bathing suit. I got my bathing suit on right here. And I did a video for my daughter because I thought, oh yeah, send a video to my daughter. And sure enough, <clears throat> the whole thing got screwed up. So I swam, I thought, oh, this is fine. But then I remembered the last time I was in this pool, there was a dead mouse. And I thought, well, get out and check the thing. So sure enough, I get out and I check the thing and there's a dead mouse in there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, the sun is so bright. So anyway, so that dead mouse is floating around. I haven't actually checked the other one. So out here in the mountains, there's field mice. And the field mice burrow under the snow in the winter. And when the snow melts, there's piles of things like that. Now, if you're swimming in a river, animals die all the time near and around rivers and animals go to the bathroom, and sometimes people go to the bathroom on or around rivers, small rivers and streams, so it flows down the river all the time. So the difference is if the animal has freshly died and is part of the circulation system of the pool, the circulation system is much lower, but there's chemicals in the pool to nullify some of those biotoxins, okay? All those mice get built up, they get resistance to the rat poisons. The poisons in the stores and the shelves and the garbage cans, okay? So they have biotoxins. They get all into the pool. A river is almost the same except the water flow is much higher, okay? But the riverbanks on smaller rivers out here in the mountains soak up that urine. They absorb the poo and the feces. And when the animals die near the sides of the river, those biotoxins filter themselves into the water streaming through the river. So that's the difference. Not much of a big deal. So I went up there. I said, you know, what should I do now? I'll talk to my mom. And there's a little bit of film. Now here, as a corollary, is a dead insect. There's a dead, there's a dead um, bee in there. Okay. I don't know if you can see the dead bee. But, you know, what do we think of when we think of dead animals? We think of mammals stinking to high heaven. So disgusting. But insects, even small, like a small bee, dying in the pool in the filtration system, can at times have just the same effect as a small mouse, okay? So, and it's really tough to not have uh, spiders, flies, bees, insects flying down into the pool, inevitably dying and winding up in the filtration system. So, the only other thing I would say as if you're gonna pick, say, oh, I'm gonna go run out and jump in that stream, jump in that river, right? The other animals that are in that area, they're not sort of in a controlled area. They can run up the stream, they can run down the stream. So it's enough about that. I walked up to watch the tennis. I watched tennis for a little while. As you can see, some of the umbrellas here have already damaged all this wind stuff. The wind is always too great for any type of umbrella. I went up there, a man and his wife came here. I think they, they organized a lot of stuff with here. And, uh, and they had this little gray dog and he signed up for tennis. And then I was, I was walking back, that, that dog came up and wanted to snap my ankle. So what are you doing? He's trying to snap my ankle, you little dog. And then, uh, and then he kept barking. I said, stop rankling, little dog. You're gonna bite my ankle off. So, so anyway, so it was good. It was a good day. I'm hoping for my mom to come pick me up because I don't want to jump back in that water. And who knows what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to tear up the whole thing. You know, we got to put new umbrellas, tear up the whole pool deck, replace the water, new filtration, fix the lights, new clubhouse. I have no idea. 
So anyway, though, that's here today. Oh, that's my mom. I love, uh, uh, that's my mom. I'll talk to you in a little while. Bye-bye.